Here with Mr. Gussie. We're here uh, behind the scenes at Rotatom 2018. And Gussie, uh, he specializes in the history of dub music and so many component components to the dub music. So I'm just going to give the floor over to Mr. Gussie. And uh, Mr. Gussie, how are you? I'm good. Blessed love. Great. I'm just wondering if you could tell the massive a little bit about your dubs. Okay. Basically what we have done, we have created a, a collector's item. It's called Gussie Clark Dub Anthology. What the Dub Anthology is, it's a box set of over 82 or I think 81 original authentic dubs from Jamaica. And it includes a historical literature by Professor Clinton out in Jamaica called The History of Dub. It also includes a video that's called Dub Talks. And we premiered the video here at Rotterdam. You know, so it gives a, a perspective of where dub came from, how it originated. And it was told by Jamaicans in their own language. It was not an interview. It was a conversation that let everyone, as we in Jamaica say, get it from the ass's mouth. Because too much time, too much people tell our story and every mouth it got you is a different story. So we did it ourselves. And it seemed to, it, it went well. Well, I mean... It got me at Rotterdam. Yes. So if them feel said worried, they have a premiere here, then it, it's good. Definitely. So I just, you know, I mean, that's really great that you're preserving real reggae music. You know what I mean? I'm just wondering what prompted you to seek that endeavor, Gus. Well, for me, you know, it is always trying to do things differently. And we know that nothing like that exists with one box set with DVD and video at a reasonable price. And, you know, we just said, let's do it. We have, as not remakes, it's original music with the original Jamaican sound that I produce, recorded, mixing our studios in Jamaica. So the content is 100% Jamaican. So we believe that, why not share it? Why wait till, you know, we're dead and some people who are not Jamaican stick it and do it and hear about tribute? No, we said, let's do it ourselves. And that's just, that's not all we are doing. We are creating other musical innovation. We have created what's called an EPX. Now, EPX never exists or do exist nowhere in the world. So we have created the world's first EPX. What is an EPX? An EPX is 10 or more multi-genre remix of the same song by the same artist released simultaneously. Never happened in the history of music, nowhere. And that project is by Kevin the Artist and it's called Even a Gangster EPX. It includes Shaggy, Pam Hall, quite a few other persons have featured role in it. Uh, and a lot of other producers contributed to it in terms of doing a couple of the remix. It's, it's uh, another innovation where we're going, you know? For real. And how does it make you feel to see reggae represented so heavily in Spain? Is that what made you want to come and make sure that the history, the foundation is still preserved? I mean, Well, what I'm seeing here is an eye opener. I didn't know that something existed like this of this magnitude. I was actually invited by Rotterdam to premiere the video. So this is actually why I'm here and I'm glad I came because I'm learning so much. You know, this thing is major, mega, and it is a must-see where people need to really come to see how important it is. It's such a pity that in Jamaica, our music is not appreciated the way it is appreciated out here. And Jamaica needs to really get back to understanding what we have, or we're going to lose it. We lose care, we lose um, dub, yes. and reggae is on the fire, and we lost rock steady that gone. Yes. But everywhere else it is happening and working. So we need to go back to say, you know, what we are good at. Like I said to people, if 30 odd years after I'm dead, Bob Marley has sell more record than everybody put together, then something wrong now that was great then. Let's go find out what was great. Let's do a research. Let's do a study. Let's find out what was so good and great and see where we can pick up.
and I'm just wondering, would you like to see something of this magnitude of what we are seeing at Rotterdam? Would you like to see this take place in Jamaica, where we're from? It would be great, but I don't see it happening from a cultural perspective and all. But I think the closest we got to was um, uh, jazz and blues and um, rebel salute and some fest and some splash. But this is a different ball game here. This is a different ball game. And uh, there, these people here have advantages, you know. France is around this, so England around the corner, Belgium around this, so Sweden around this. So, so it is a lot different why it works this way here. But we would love to see we have something reflective of our heritage Culture. and history ourselves. Exactly. And in terms of uh, sorry, in terms in terms of nowadays, um, do you like the changes that have taken place in reggae music? No, no. no. Tell me some of the changes that so, why is that mean Jamaica is that too much foreign music is being played on the radio? So you find more young upcoming producers are creating hybrid sound between dancehall and foreign song and hip hop kinda. So to me, we I recognize the change but we are losing our uniqueness. And if we could give the world, depending on who you talk to, six or eight different genre of music. We should not now be creating something sound like somebody else one and we always create something that sound like nobody else one. We need to go back to evolving to be innovators and hear more of the best of us. And we have the talent and we have the ability. All we need now is the will. And we need you know all the stars to line up properly. Exactly. I totally agree with you, Mr. Gus. So like all how you met me and I'm from Canada and you gave me a little synopsis of what you're doing. Can you tell Toronto how the, the reggae industry in Toronto can become involved with you in uh, preserving our culture before we lose it, as you said? Well, the whole thing has to... I believe that people in Canada love reggae, just like oh, Jam uh, not Jamaica, a lot of people love it. But this whole a whole different culture thing and Canada have Canadian culture and Jamaican have Jamaican culture. So it, 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 Jamaican is the point of reference for which everybody look what you are and what go on. We just need to go back to being being great. You know, we just need to go back to being innovators, make more great music and the rest is speak for itself. Because music is a language and it speaks and speaks loudly. But if we're not making great music, then it don't speak as loud as it can and or should be. Exactly. So, and you gave me your card, and can you tell the master what you're working on right now? Well, what we're working on really now is that, you know, we are in the promotional phase of my dub anthology box set. Okay. And in case you don't know, it's available on Amazon, on all digital platforms and physical. Okay. And we are working on the Kevin Eden Gangster EPX. It is something interesting. And we have a couple of singles, like about the George looks a guy called um, Rose Summer. There are a couple of things working on. But I'll make sure that you get copies for your radio station. You are included in our list. Yeah. And obviously, Ask you to, if you love it, play it. You don't like it, don't play it. We're good. Definitely. Well, I, I really love what you're doing. It's very important, especially for our upcoming youth to stick to their roots like everyone else yeah. does. Yeah. And um, is there anyone that you know in Toronto that you'd like to shout out? I'm a good friend of mine, Miss B. How you doing, Miss B? <laughs> Vanessa Williams? Oh, wow. Williamson? <laughs> the, and my name is Vanessa Iron. Oh, I know got two Vanessas. <laughs> exactly. And do you have a website or anything? Guys? Yeah, it's, it's called Gussie Clark Music Group. Um, YouTube channel is there. Um, with all, uh, all of our stuff and everything. And uh, nearly everything is Gussie Clark Music Group. Um, our website, it's been re... We're creating a portal of the other websites. It's going to be Gussie Clark Music Group. Dot com.